I wanted to ask you, kind of shooting at your uh, studies in the synoptics and historical criticism, and it's probably especially with your forthcoming debate with Shabir Ali, uh, how should the Christian respond to Muslim accusations that there, uh, uh, that there are epistemological uh, problems in our understanding of particular revelation as uh, w contained in the word, which Christians would deem authoritative, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Muslim understanding of the Quran, which is dictated. Um, and have we shot ourselves in the foot, perhaps, the past hundred years with historical criticism? Or do we have something, a more robust, let's say, view of, you know, does this lead to inerrancy or what have you? Or does the Muslim have something better on their side because we were saying, no, this is dictated, um, whereas look at all of these problems with your manuscripts or whatever. Great, great question. Um, let me attempt a response and you can let me know if that uh, is satisfactory, um, and I may not care if you don't think it is, but uh, <laughs> I think I'd like to quote Os Guinness in saying that contrast is the mother of clarity. When we discuss biblical manuscripts, we should do it in light of Quranic manuscripts. Fact of the matter is, virtually no work has been done on critical, text critical work on the Quranic manuscripts. There are two Turkish um, Muslim scholars who published a book a few years ago which contains all the differences in the earliest Quran manuscripts and they are huge. It's a huge book cataloging all the differences. Uh, Muslims just don't know this, but these are two Muslim Turkish scholars who published this and they said, they themselves said virtually no scholastic work has been done on these earliest manuscripts. Part of the reason why is because it hasn't been open to scholars. It's, they've been closed for research. But even within the Hadith records, so please make sure you're well acquainted with Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, book 61, Hadith number 509 and 510. Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 6, book 61, 509 and 510. What we learn in these Hadith is that Uthman, who was the third caliph, uh, in, the, in, the, in the lineage. It was uh, Muhammad, and then it was Abu Bakr, and then it was Omar, and then it was Uthman. That was kind of the, the lineage. Uthman had so many differences in the empire on the way that the Quran was being recited and the things that were being said that he commanded all the Quranic manuscripts be gathered together. By the way, this is about 17 years after Muhammad. He commands all the Quranic manuscripts to be gathered together. He burns them, and he puts out an official Quran. No one ever did that with the Bible. There simply was no way ever for the Bible to have been collected and changed in such a way that no one would be able to trace the differences in the changes. But with, with Uthman, there certainly was a time that it happened, and it did happen, because the early Islamic records then record things where Muslim scholars are saying, I used to recite this verse. I don't find it in the Quran anymore. If you have uh, a copy of the Yusuf Ali translation of the Quran, go to chapter 33, verse 6. You'll see that one of the earliest and most respected teachers of the Quran, in the footnotes of this Quran, it says that he had different words present there. If you go to Sahih Muslim, you will see that it says whole chapters of the Quran are missing. So we got to make sure that we come at this conversation with an equal standard. Um, especially when we're discussing the manuscripts. I think part of the reason why Muslims are so comfortable with their Islamic faith is because they haven't critically looked at their own message the way people are so critically looking at the Christian message. Last thing I want to say uh, to address your question is that the Quran says that Allah has revealed the Quran as the Torah was revealed to Moses, as the Injil was revealed to Jesus. And so it is validating the manner in which the Old Testament and the Injil was revealed. The Quran is validating it. So who is the Muslim now to say that, ah, this was revealed in a different kind of dictation than the Quran, therefore it's worse? No, the Quran validates it. And even Muhammad does. If you read Sunan Abu Da'ud, number 4434, Muhammad puts his hand on an Old Testament and he says, I testify that you are the word of Allah. So when a Muslim comes and impugns the manner in which the Old Testament or the gospel was revealed, he is criticizing his prophet, he's criticizing his own book, and he's not coming at this fairly. That would be my primary response. 
Thanks.